Hi, Alex. Hi, Mark. You've got these on, eh? Yes, my eyes have faltered. Ah, your eyes have shown signs of strain. <laughs> how, how are your eyes? Um, oh, I'm meant to wear glasses, but I mostly just sort of get on with it. Can you see the nose, Doctor? The old nose is sniffing things as clear as day, if you know what I mean. How about your nose? <laughs> if you had to lose your sense of smell, you would, wouldn't you, if it was that or one of the biggies? I uh, think I'd choose to. If it's an option, I'd probably tick that box. I think I more often smell horrible things than nice things. It's close big life for horn. Yeah, I want to keep hear, I want to keep hearing and seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of taste and nose. Oh, no taste either. You'd and rather touch. just of, you'd and rather and touch. <laughs> touch is gone. <laughs> touch is gone. No smell, no taste. Every time you have a meal, it just goes down, and it could be absolutely fucking anything. Yeah, and I can't tell if I'm touching it, so it's just everywhere. <laughs> What's the score? Five to me, which is a lot. Three to thee, which is a lot. Which is a lot, and not as much. One to key, I think that's right. So this could be game set and match. Yeah, game set. Oh ha ha! Hi Tim. Your your glasses are so funny. I've got I've got three percent. It's plugged in, and it, and I've been using it for nothing apart from just charging it. So I think it's a case of starting it on my phone and seeing who salutes. Ah, uh, it's going to be double keys here if we're not careful. Yeah, it's double keys. Ah. Well, it's key to play. Morning in progress. Oh, you need to mute one. I'll mute one of you. There we go. Um, I'm going to... Uh, Tim, just so you know, your sound is slightly more muffled than normal. That's because I'm using my iPhone. Yeah. Is your microphone, bit of your iPhone, in a, le- in a case or anything like that? Yeah. Pop it, pop it out. Hi! <laughs> Hello? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, slightly worse now. <laughs> it must be time for me to start the game. Victoria Pendleton. <gasps> and so she goes. Off round and round the track. Yeah. Round and round the track. You've got 90 seconds to present to me two photos. One with a horse, one with a bike. <laughs> one on a horse and one on a bike. Right. No more people you can find on a horse and on a bike. In two separate photos. Yeah, let's do a quick name another just to really slow things down. Probably, um, you know, Bean. <laughs> Mr. Bean. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I can sort of imagine him on, on a penny farthing. <laughs> Hands off your glasses. Hands off your glasses. Is it a big fence? Glasses. Oi, oi. Hands off your glasses. Hands, hands off your glasses. glasses. They're a bit wonky. Right. I, I attend remember. evening classes. I attended an evening class yesterday. What okay. did I do? Axe throwing. Chinese stuff. Baking. Yes, yeah, so and Watto gets it. Horn, you've got what I like to call a shitty little life. <laughs> <laughs> Not a criticism, man. Uh, what I to play is Hands off your glasses. Hands off your glasses. I attend evening classes. Evening classes. I had a pint with an old friend this evening. Nick Mohammed. Was it? What, oh? Why are you doing a lure so early? <laughs> it's an interesting game with Nick Mohammed. Well, it is an interesting game with Nick Mohammed. And no one's to blame with Nick Mohammed. He's had some fame now, Nick Mohammed. He's on Ted Lasso and he's done some other stuff. Oi, oi, oi. Never be the same. He's Nick Mohammed. Mohammed. No one's to blame. He's Nick, Nick Mohammed. A pantomime day, Mr. Nick, Nick Mohammed. He sets my heart aflame. He's Nick Mohammed. Have you no shame? It's Nick, Nick Mohammed. You know Nick Mohammed. I was going to say the same. It's Nick, Nick Mohammed. Sorry, Horn. Quick game. Sub game. Ah, we're going to have a game as Nick Mohammed. Yeah, yeah. Which way up is my beer? Which way up is my beer? Well, don't be held back by fear. Just tell me. Which way up is my beer? Yeah, it's flat. No, it's upright. No, it's the wrong way up. Ooh, it's upside down. Upside down beer. Yeah, I like that game. We are Henry VIII, actually. <gasps> no more people you can find proof of them in a castle. So hang on, how, what's the proof if it's not a photo? 
if you can find a newspaper article and it says Steve Irwin and then it, someone brings up a thing saying, now the other day Steve Irwin went to a castle. No, what I, I don't want to challenge you, but I still, I think there might be a photo of him, a picture of him riding a bike or a representation of him riding a bike. I don't mind if you do. Also, you often, you can apply for reprieve if it goes wrong. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone's gone out before the end of round one, have they, before? You did that time when you were in the bath and everything oh, went chocolate, wrong. chocolate box of wonders. All right, well, I'll put 90 seconds on the clock and say, challenge. I think bicycles are much later than that, aren't they? Yeah, I, I yeah just, but what I'm expecting is a cartoon. Oh, okay! Oh, really? oh. Time's up. Well, I've got a great website. They find a photo of an absolute classic ring stinger yeah. and then they tart them up and it's a sort of nowadays sort of suggestion. Now, the nowadays suggestion of Harry VIII... <laughs> <laughs> um, is that the only picture you found in a minute and a half? No, I found a picture of Queen Elizabeth I young. I forgot what happens when Key does the work. <laughs> well, when Key does the work, he suddenly finds... A great photo of George Washington, and that is a classic ring stinger doing what yeah. he does best. I don't understand what's happening. Well, well we're not happening. Is, is Keith done anything useful? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe something. Oh, hang on. Horn's got Are you that. drinking through your glasses? Whoa! Drinking through his glasses. Bloody hell. Are you, are you not drinking through your glasses? Horny, horny. Drinking through his glasses. Tuesday through Thursday, I go to my evening classes. Well, I'm horny, I'm horny. I'm drinking through my glasses. Monday through to Friday, I cook with molasses. Unbelievable. I'm not sure how long I can wear them for, though, because I think you have to just keep drinking. <laughs> you might feel that you didn't get as much of a run for your money as, as you could have had from that show. I don't know how much run for your money you're looking for. That's like saying, look, everyone, but let's get Tarzan up, you know, with a soda stream and see who salutes. So oh, I yeah, think it's very difficult to do, go. All right, Dan Petrescu. Is he a footballer? Yeah, yeah. he was. Well, he's my man. And there's no more people whose surnames sound enough like a television programme. In, In this, this case, case Pet Rescue. Pet Rescue. And name another, of course. No. Uh, is there someone called... <laughs> like Steve Topola Pops? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Steve Topola Pops, yeah. Liz Poirier? L L Liz Poirier? Poirier? I mean, there's a footballer called Stuart Dallas. You could actually, you could have that. That's well, that sounds flavor. too much like it. Right, so it can't be the exact same. No. Ah, that is a bit fiddly there. <laughs> oh, I like this, though. I've got Richard yeah. Bacon, close to Bake Off. Ah, uh, what? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His full name is Richard the ce Celebrity Bacon. <laughs> Great British Bacon. Gepetto. Tissues? Tissues? Blue Peter? Geppetto sounds like Blue Peter. No, no issues. No issues. Okay, I'm going to go for Gollum. Gollum. Yeah, Gollum. I feel like I'm just getting drunk. It's got to be no way, no, log. There's log in the word. No more logs. No more logs. Can the log be broken up into constituent bits of log? Yeah, and is it across the whole name? And talk, talk to us a little about this log business. <laughs> and how long did it take you to think of it? I started moving the old mouth and then chucked something <laughs> in. It's like those contraptions you get, like a potato thrower, where I, I started the contraption off and then put a potato in it. And it yeah, it. see what comes out. <laughs> Get your hands off your glasses. I sometimes attend working classes. <laughs> is it is it a continual log, or can you splice the log? <laughs> it's it's log backwards, isn't it, Gol? Well, so I think it's just anyone who's got log forwards or backwards in their name. Okay, in their full name. Yeah, well, I suppose we name another Goldie Horn. Very good. I think my dad fancies her, or fancied. I don't know. I think I fancied her. I, she's my perfect woman. Look, I hate to be the guy who loses two challenges immediately. Oh, he's going but, for something. But I thought Watto's was proof he's been in a castle or something. Does that have to not be a photo? Well, I just think it's Tolkien and there'd be castles, wouldn't there? Wouldn't Dolan not have gone to a castle? Wouldn't surprise me in the least. 
No, I think Gollum is more a fellow who lives in a in a hole. Isn't yeah, he? I just wonder. I never like any a of that. Cave. I'll have a go. Do you want me to have a go? Might as well. I quite like having no challenges and just drinking my beer in my glasses. He was he was CGI in the films apparently. Gollum. Frodo and Sam continue their journey towards Mordor to destroy the One Ring, meeting and joined by Gollum in the, the castle, former keeper. In a, in a castle? It doesn't say anything about a castle. I th- <sighs> on we go. On we go. It's fine. I'm opening my third screen. Well, maybe. I mean, maybe I can get it on this thing. Whose go is it? My go. My go as well. Yes, it's, we're going to do it jointly. Split so, decision. I'll okay. do the first name, you do the second name. And then we'll okay. reverse it to the next one. Colin. And the Beanstalk. So I'm going for Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, but I, I, that's the closest I get to his surname. <laughs> I've gone for Colin and the Beanstalk. Okay. <laughs> oh. I can't believe this. That's low on battery as well now. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. One's got a funny way of drinking. Well, it feels like I'm siphoning my own little brain. Oh, the more you think about it, one of my own categories actually made it really, really sort of inconvenient. So then I think it's probably Jill out of Jack, out of Jack and Jill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no more people. You, you can find them with anyone called Jack. So in 90 seconds. Well, if Key's not going to challenge... He could. Oh, he's doing his um, chess pieces on his ceiling again. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Can I be Ladybones? I'm going to go for Jack from Jack and Jill. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. I, I might challenge. Oh. What's your, what's your what's your category with... Um... Uh, with Jill? No, with Henry VIII. Ah, difficult. Because we don't normally go back to him, do we? Well, they didn't really go anywhere, did they? It's just the upside down, dude. Well, they did go yeah. somewhere. They that famously went somewhere. Well, they went somewhere, but like they didn't really get, you know, they weren't like great explorers, were they? <laughs> They're not famous for having sort of done the miles, are they? <laughs> Who wrote Jack and Jill anyway? Was it? Was um, Anthony Hargreaves? Yeah. Probably. Oh, it's Hargreaves, right? Yeah, it's Anthony Trollope. Oh, I think it was Trollope. Yeah. Or was it Osman? Was it Richard Osman? It's probably Osman because Osman does everything. All right, I'll go with Jack. No more people who have famously fallen down. Right. Yeah. What do you mean famously? So what, have they fallen down? Is that enough? Well, we've got all heard of them falling down without looking it up. Mr. Whippy. <laughs> Mr. Whippy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for Mr. Whippy. Mr. Whippy. Mr. Hair, Whippy. Sorry, your hairstyle's changed again. <laughs> well, I'm going to go for Mr. Whippy. Mr. Whippy. For the following reasons, which I am pleased to present to the jury. Well, no more people. Oh, would you mind just taking your hands off your face, please? Does he have hands? What does he look like? Is he like a walking ice cream? (laughs) I don't think I can imagine, Mr. Whippy. I'm Mr. Whippy! He's either going to be a walking ice cream or like a caricature of a funny little man with an ice cream, isn't he? Mm, that's what they said about my first born child just before it came out. And look at you now. <laughs> no more people whose surname, there's more than 75% of the name, is consonants. Right, yeah. Well, that's maths and spelling. Maths and spelling. How are you smelling if I've lopped off your nose? Oh, yeah. I'm going to do what I should have done years ago. I'm going to switch back to the iPad and hope for the best. Aha. There he is again. Oh, much better. Prefer you to the other guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horn, can you zoom in on me? No. We can do that. No, but that's not me, is it? Well, you could do that. Okay, direct me, will you? Right, move your head towards the little circle. Yeah. That's it. Lovely. Yeah. I think you look like the little actor who plays all the little people. You know the one who's really good? I think he's in um, in uh, the Digging for a Treasure. Toby Jones. Toby Jones, yeah, I think you look oh, like Toby, Toby Jones. Jones. He, was, he was in the Digging for a Treasure, yeah. The Detectorists. Mm. Marco Polo, is that the way to do it? 
Ooh. It's Marco Polo. No, not people. <laughs> okay, I'm ready for the question, Noel. My beer, I put it on my mouse mat. Is it up, down, or sideways? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, yeah, let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, it's it double up? bluff. It's upside down again. I, I wouldn't have minded that. I'll go for just like normal up. Normal up. Diddly dee, diddly dee. I don't know what's bothering me. Diddly doo, diddly doo. Diddly doo. Diddly doo. Maybe it will bother you too. Oh, diddly diddly diddly. Diddly. It's sideways. Would you believe it? The <laughs> one that they didn't go for. I wonder if I can pull my beer and it goes past the, 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 the thing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay. You forget to put anything underneath it. <laughs> All righty. You got it. You got yourself a deal. I might be able to suck it up. Yeah, we'll both have a go. That's what I'm talking about. All oh, right. That is lovely. I bumped into the same famous person twice in four days yeah twice in four days so i bumped into the same famous person twice in four days oh yeah twice in four days female we're not guessing it oh, okay marco polo no more people who and you think about it when you have a thing when you think about it <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, well, don't worry, what's it? I bumped into... <laughs> I think it's Marco Polo. Uh, no more people who... Once the, the main... in... <laughs> hmm? No more people who the main... The main way they went about in their life was boat. <laughs> <laughs> was boat. <laughs> no, boat. There were people who travelled on the sea more than they travelled otherwise. You name wrong. another, name another. Uh, well, you know, all these fucking people, Ferdinand Magellan or Christopher Columbus. I don't think I can challenge in my stage of life. I don't think I can challenge in my stage of life. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go for Pac-Man. Welcome to the game. <laughs> <laughs> no more people who can't legally currently vote I don't think Pac-Man can currently vote no but currently what's your problem with currently in this country Horn like if I don't know they can vote anywhere they can vote in Disneyland or Narnia or something like that yeah if you can find someone who can legally vote in Disneyland or Narnia big if who do you think he would vote for Pac-Man Tory Lib Dem because he's, ye he's yellow isn't he or maybe Labour Green, is he vegan? Or is he just pleased to see me? <laughs> <laughs> it's just going in and out of the bottle. In. Out. Out. In. Oh, God. Please help me. If I know this isn't the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> but please let me not not win. <laughs> well, I think I might go for Mert Aksak. Alrighty. And here comes my category. I went to school with someone called Mike Category. Are you okay, Alex? No. No more. Men. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Can I ask a question, Al? Yes, it's me. Is it, <laughs> is it, is it nicer drinking from those things? No, but I've stuck with it. But you don't have to do any of this. The, it's nice watching it go round and round. I guess that's what happens in your tummy, but it's happening on my face. Shut up! Ah. Hello, good evening, shut up! Shut up. Yeah. A quick heads up to the viewers. The three of us once went to a pub 
Yep. And run out of beer. Because we've drunk all. No, we haven't drunk all. We haven't drunk all. From we now on, I'm going to mainly travel boat. <laughs> Aye. I'm going to, sorry, Horn, we're going to dig hole. Oh, I'll come boat, see you in hole. Great. I'll serve you egg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like egg. All right, Jane Austen, no more people who, um, you know, that is distracting, actually, when Horn does that. But I th- you can see my point. Uh, no more people with, with you know... <laughs> lobsters on their head. Yes, <laughs> no more with lobsters on their head. Double barrel? <laughs> yeah, no more people with lobsters on their head. A number of letters in the name that's in the five times table. So five, ten, fifteen. Five hundred and ten? Yeah, but that, that's really unlikely. I, I think I go challenge. I don't think Jane Austen can legally vote because she's dead. Oh, hang on. There is that category. <laughs> Huge! The game of no more jockeys. It uh, survives another week. Well, and also, when she was alive, she couldn't vote because she was, a, at the time, a woman. And they couldn't oh. vote then, even. I was so busy thinking about previous categories, I completely forgot about the, the very last category we have. And for that reason, I, Mark Watson, I'm out. <laughs> He cut off his head with a little red card. He cut off his head with a little red card. If I know him like I think I do, he'll fire some ketchup up now into the... <laughs> and if we can't find ketchup, we'll have to use something that looks like ketchup, like blood. All right, well, give me a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like in theatre. Yeah, but, yeah, like in theatre. I'm very much minds on, and it's good to see the corporal. <laughs> now, I've heard a little bit about this. You, uh, by all accounts, it's a very funny voice you tend to use for the corporal. Hmm. Also, is that a shit bin? It's not exactly a great bin, no. <laughs> I thought you waved your arms around, I, I, I've been here. Sorry, ask me another question. How was the, um, are there any, have you been to the cafe? Yes, I've been to the cafe, but they were out of chocolate cake. Uh, chocolate what, sorry? Cake. Pardon me, chocolate drink. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> chocolate drink. Chocolate drink, is it? Oh, God. Blast, I think it is what you said to say. Oh, blast. <laughs> they were out of chocolate cake, I had to have butterscotch. Butterscotch cake? Yes. Horn? Hello. Your question. Your question. Oh, uh, Corporal? Yes, Horn, what can I do? Stop waving your arms, sorry. Oh, you asshole, what can I do? Did you know there's another corporal behind you? What, who the devil is that one? <laughs> uh, has, has your bin got a top and a bottom? Yeah, it's got poop, 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 no top, and poop, 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 no bottom. Great bin, guys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Last. And blah. <laughs> so, yeah, keep forgetting your cash, friends. Yeah. Right, well, I, I think I've got someone, but I don't think you'll like it, and you might be cross with me. I want to go for the cat bin woman. <laughs> What's her name? The cat bin woman. What's her name? Sarah Monk. <laughs> Hello, caller. That's just not Monk, because that'll be that'll be out. Sarah Monk... Monk goo. Monk goo? Yeah. Sarah Monk goo. Sarah Monk goo, yeah. Cat bin woman. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Has he put a cat in the bin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got on the news. No more people older than Tim Key. I think I said it because he put a bin on his head. I think he's got a centre party now, Timmy. I almost cut my hairs off today. At the hairs dresser. No, you've got to let them cut it off. Yeah, you can't go in there and then do it. It's the same as if you went into a butcher's and started chopping off a bit of rabbit. What, oh? Yes, Tim. Let's see if there's any evidence of her meeting someone called Jack. <laughs> yeah. I might have to take the bin off for this, because this is a sort of slightly... This is a sophisticated bit of Googling. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyone called Jack? She wasn't in 24, was, was she? With Jack Bauer? I, I said, was Cat Bin Woman in 24 with Jack Bauer? That's your time up. Plenty of stories came up. Plenty of things came up, but not, 
none of them... You did everything you could, Tim. It was a good challenge, and at least I now know the name of, um, of Cat Bin Lady. Have you ever trodden on anything, Mark, that you shouldn't have trodden on? Yes. Didn't feel good. Was it a snail? Yeah, that is what I was thinking of. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, oh, I can't look. I can't. Have you ever sat on one? When you're a kid, you sometimes sit on a snail, and mm-hmm. again, it's a case of crunch. What, to, to try to get around on it? I never sat on a snail. No one's ever trodden on a snail or sat on a snail and come away thinking, I'm having a great day. I think they've got to take their fair share of the responsibility, though. Oh, they're so fucking slow. <laughs> well, um, okay. <clears throat> Maria Matola. Who is, that? Who is that? One of the great middle distance runners. Yeah. No more. Supreme physical specimens. Uh-huh. I don't know anything about Maria Mutola, so I can talk you through my workings. Yeah. But you have to not give anything away, because I haven't said what the challenge is yet. I won't even look at you. So what I'm thinking is, she might be older than Tim. She might be dead. She might be under 18. She might have a best friend called Jack. She might have famously fallen over in a race. Hmm. She might have... Well, Castle is the one I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about Maria Mutola. <sighs> Go on then, what I... Find me a middle distance runner in a castle. Wow. Okay, well... You know, at the start of this game, I'd have settled for Watto with 90 seconds trying to find Maria Mutola at a castle. Where, where's she from? I think it's Mozambique, yeah. Did she do the Olymp- Olympics in London? Did she visit London Castle? Oh, she was fantastic, Paul. She was the same era as Kelly Holmes. Well, now, well, what, what I'm looking at is uh, that they, they did do some cross-country races at Balmoral Castle. So, which, so for example, Kelly Holmes here. This is a report on Kelly Holmes. Five Have you pronounced race. Holmes funny? Sorry? Are you making too much effort with the L in Holmes? He's respecting the L. Holmes. <laughs> Well, never mind all that. What about, is it in the grounds or is it in the frowns? I don't think Maria Matola's in this story. She, oh yeah, here we are. No, there we go. Holmes flew back from South Africa for the event before returning to Johannesburg to resume training with world and Olympic 800 meter champion Maria Matola. There's no evidence of Matola being at the castle. It's not enough. And I think that is key, uh, to be fair to him, getting the dub. I think it is. My, my first W for a long time. A lot of my Legion would have been thinking, he ain't getting another dub in his life. Ever. Even if we live to be 100. Big even if. The biggie was she was older than Key, but like you say, you don't know her, so what are you going to do? Powerful. Pure oh. power. I'm surprised you can get a TV show out of her. Well, obviously I was trying. Mr. Tumble, <laughs> I had. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Oh, hang on, the corporal. The corporal. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Oh, it's not a bad character, that. <laughs> <laughs>